we're going to bring in former commissioner in the Giuliani and Bloomberg administrations, Brian Anderson. Brian, always great to have you here. So let's just dive into this. The New York Times made it clear uh, that the Murdochs don't want Trump in 2024. Now, Rupert Murdoch, of course, the billionaire who uh, has that control over Fox, has said he has a strong distaste for Trump. So is it a personal? Is it personal? We've got the news reporting on the news, and we report on the news reporting it's on the news. It's very meta. Uh, <laughs> yes, very much so. Um, you know, Mr. Murdoch has not hidden his distaste, as he said, for Mr. Trump. As a matter of fact, he didn't even endorse him in 2016 and, and, uh, until he had gone through Jeb Bush and then Kasich and Rubio. And even Donald Trump says, well, they didn't like me until I won. So that mm. kind of puts it in perspective. Oh. And they will proceed to use each other, you know? And did he donate a lot of money to Hillary Clinton? And, and look, we understand billionaires donate here and there, and, and we get that. Uh, but he, he appears, uh, Mr. Murdoch, and his sons, we should mention, uh, to reluctantly get on board the Trump train. True, but they should be reporting the news, not making yeah. the news. I mean, like when he, re he came back last week, I'm, I'm missing my days, but uh, right. he came back, that was news. Yeah, exactly. It's the first time since he, he left office. They should be reporting news, not making news, let our customers, let our viewers make their own decisions as our viewers on Newsmax can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How revolutionary a thought is that? <laughs> yeah. But essentially, this is a former president of the United States. Think about history now. How often has this happened? I know. Um, how often has a former president run for the presidency yet again? He's tops in all of the polls, yet Fox is going to ignore him? Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. So, I mean, if we're talking journalism here and, and journalism ethics and actually reporting the news as opposed to making the news, do you think there we're, we're seeing here that maybe Fox News is not to be trusted journalistically? Would you go that far? I would go that far. Well, yeah, because they're making it apparent. Uh, you know, how do you, how do you ignore this? Do you think they're trying to pick somebody? I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, honestly, I mean, this, these are big stakes, and they've become very emboldened as to who they want to support and who they don't want to support at, you know, at the expense of the viewing public. Because we're talking about somebody who leads all the polls. There may be one anomaly, but uh, leads all the polls within the Republican Party. Mm -hmm. His approval level within the Republican Party is what, 70, 80 percent? Sky high. Something like that. Mm -hmm. If you put him in a poll against Mr. Biden, he at least is even, if not ahead. Um, and, and so it would seem they would want to track this. And he could announce any day. Yeah. Now, now, there's some people who say he's not going to do that until after the midterms, but we don't know that. And it defies common logic. How do you talk about the election for president without talking about Donald Trump? And you think they're not talking about him? They're trying to avoid him. I mean, he may appear sooner or later, but they're still going to try their best to ignore him. You know, it's interesting because, you know, you, you mentioned that here on Newsmax, what, what you are so happy that we do, as, as I know many of our viewers are, as I am as well, that we let our viewers decide. And we present them with the information. And okay, if you agree, great. If you don't, you don't. But even former President Trump has uh, lauded Newsmax. Certainly has, and for good reason. We, we give him that, that, that vehicle to at least speak to what he speaks to. And again, let our viewers decide. I mean, you know, we have an intelligent viewership, as I thought the Times and the Post did too, but we're finding out differently. They're well, it's determined. interesting that the New York Times, of all people, are the ones who come out and say, you know what? That's this what, is that's going what on. got me. There's a there yes. there. Yeah. 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 There's a all there right. there. Brian Anderson, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, guys. All right, we have the uh, Fox News banned story, what we were just talking about, on Newsmax.com. You can check it out and share it on your social media as well. Hey, guys, it's Rob Carson. With inflation at its highest level in 40 years and interest rates skyrocketing, your retirement plans are in danger. Well, our friends at American Hartford Gold can help show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Yeah. If you call them right now, they have a special offer. They will give you a free gold coin on your first qualifying order. So don't wait. Call now. Here's the number. 866-935-4309. That's 866-935-4309. Or text Newsmax to 65532. That's Newsmax to 65532. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.